Hey there, Boots Owen here. This is a treat for me and for you. Service Slimline Super Dry Reverse Tumble. Pop. Model 209, when model numbers were as simple as that. And there's a serial number made in Wednesbury in the West Midlands. Clean the filter. I can't tell, I think, I think that's plastic. Now it's got this inside it. I got this today. This is spotless. Oh, that, um, that rubber door seal is uh, completely perished. And that's a shame. Better not do, do too much work on that. Damaged up on top there. Didn't notice that. And there's, you know, there's bits of rust on it and stuff, but overall it seems okay. Low and high. A light off super dry reverse tumble there's only one thing for it that feels more like enamel than paint it's got an old kite mark BS 3456 British Electrotechnical Approvals Board so that's a real old kite mark there let's have a look around the side nothing on that side and on this side, it has the cable tidy over here. Now, uh, it has this interesting vent on top. It doesn't have like a normal pipe vent. So it blows the lint out here and, and any fluff. There's a chimney in there and it just comes out the top through this mesh. And that's the lint filter. And I've got a handle to them. That's the fine mesh with paint on it. And it's pretty good. There's another model number here on the back, 209, 210 watt motor, 2000 watt heater, it's not the biggest, it could be 3 kilowatts I guess, 2210, so, conforms to BS800 as well, I wonder what that means. And there's another thing down there, oh there's a plinth, you can remove to stack it, I saw that in the manual came with the manual and the guarantee card, wrapped in plastic. So let's get in here. Put that plastic away. There's your guarantee card. If you're interested in that. Nothing on the back and the bottom's been cut off. That would give you a one year guarantee as far as I can tell, 12 months guarantee. Here's the manual, bought 10th of March, 1980. So we are now 42 years later. It's not like that's crisp and clean. This is a card. There's some details. Super Dry 209, and that's 679. So this is probably made the year before that. Features, automatic timer, heat switch, safety features, thermal cutout, lint trap is on top. I think you could get a thing to event kit, yeah. So when you're meant to use it near a window or something like that, which I've never heard of before. I've never seen one like this before. And there's some stuff about laundry. Press pause and zoom in or whatever if you want to read it. Hints, four kilo load, dry weight, which is not much nowadays. When the guarantee runs out, you can get a free satisfaction check. He will write and let you know when it's time, the service engineer. And here he is, the service engineer. Look at this fella. Isn't he great? He's got quite the cheesy smile. And wait until you see him inside. And he's in an old, is that an escort van? Or, no, I don't know actually. I don't know what kind of machine, what kind of van that is. Now look at this for a casual pose in the kitchen. Is that the kitchen? Tumble dryer. This one has two switches. This one only has one, so that's a different machine. Might be, no, it's probably not a washing machine, actually. So there you go. You can read that if you wish. Here, here's a map of the different regions, Scotland, Northern Ireland, Wales, North and South, and London. And there's service depots, and there's some pictures of old style products from 1980, 1979. Right, let's put these aside.
It's got an old style Ashley plug with solid brass pins. Now this should take two kilowatts, no bother. Oops, plug it in, switch it on, and I'll bring it all the way around. Now it's on. Ooh, it's on to low. It's reversing. This is amazing. The belt could be completely perished. Um, what else could be wrong with it? Well, the motor should be okay. The motor, the motor capacitor, I presume it has a capacitor on an induction motor. That could be dead. It is a plastic door. I thought it was glass initially, but you don't see a door like this anymore. I haven't. Low and high. Let's see if it does anything on low first. It's moving through there rather rapidly, actually, I would say. It's speeding up and slowing down. That is getting hot. So let's put it on to high and see if it gets any hotter. I don't know if it's getting hotter, I can't really tell, I didn't test it very early on the first one. Oh, now it's reversing. It's quite silent. It's quite warm there, so the idea is that this would vent into your room, which is not ideal. Not in the UK anyways. Right, this could go on all day. That's putting out a lot of heat. Let's skip to cool. Blow some cold air over the element and I'll tell you a bit more about it. I collected that today. Look at this cheery fellow down on the floor. I collected that today with this hot point. This is a hot point Emp Empress 1960s, 1960 I think, model. Enamel tin. Real nice machine. One careful owner, well two really, but one family. Likewise, this was bought in 1980. I don't know when this was bought. This is a hot point spin dryer. And I don't see a, there's a plate on the bottom. I'll find out and make another video of this little spin dryer. I'm kind of interested in this because I'd, I'd like to have a go with this, but the hose on the back has perished. So I got all these off a gentleman today, his daughter-in-law, his niece. His niece was selling them. His niece, I think, was selling them. And I drove a little distance to go and get them. They were advertised on the internet. And I paid a grand total of £10 for this service. And that's that's pretty cool, I reckon. I don't think this would take much abuse. Um, the door seal on it's knackered. And I don't know what to do with this, really. It's not my kind of thing. There's nothing wrong with it. And it's not... It's kind of... It's almost too old reversing again it's almost too old to use daily with that door seal especially you won't get parts for this like some parts you'll be able to find brown switches and I think I, I even have one of those lights um, somewhere but especially the door seal and you could you could just either get by without one or make one for it of course you know it's not the end of it but uh, equally the, the thing the way it vents to inside I wouldn't like so I might sell this that might be the best thing for it from my point of view Let me know what you think it's worth, actually. This is 2022. Yeah, so I think the plinth thing is you can take that brown plinth off the bottom and stack it on another machine, which is kind of neat. It's really clean. It's got a bit of fading here, presumably where it was sticking out under a, under a worktop or something when it was stored. I think it has, I think it has wheels. I'm not, no, it might not actually. I was told that it wasn't used since the year 2000 so I think it went out into a shed or something or went under the stairs in the year 2000 and it has never been used since so it was used maybe for 20 years but obviously not heavily because the thing's spotless inside and whatnot and then it hasn't been used for 22 years so 42 year old machine that has seen very little use very rare I would say there's probably some of them about 
it'll be interesting to take it apart and have a look inside i'll put that in another video this is just more of an introduction and a does it work and it obviously does it says cool now two and a half minutes to run and that is blowing out cold so there's no reason why it shouldn't work but it seems to be working okay so that's a, that's a thumbs up from me that's that's excellent service slimline super dry 209 i think the hot point we'll have a look at in another video this hot point we'll have a look at in another video you've seen the wma40 and it's amazing how in 60 years you go from this probably 50 years actually you go from this to this i'm going to say that's a 2010 machine i don't know when it was made uh, i could probably figure it out I'm not I'm not going there now we'll have a look at this and uh will it wash with this one in another video and that might be a long one it's a class that's a class machine and it does work um i don't know if it leaks but definitely the motor works the element works and everything is driven by the motor so the mangle is driven from the motor through a gearbox through a shaft in there um, that drives the agitator in the center and there's a handle in underneath to drive a pump that pumps the water out through that hole and then you have to fit a pipe into that hole but these pipes are well old and that's a whole different story and it'll be in a different video so we'll come back to that i even have the pot lid for it there quite pleased with that so that one was 40 quid i think i paid 40 for that and 10 for this this one's just quite working working away quite happily here let's turn it off save those 210 watts could use a bit of a clean probably so i think it's been out in a shed or it's been under a stairs or something for a few years but that's amazing and this one he gave me that one for free on the basis that the hose was broken so vintage laundry. It's class. I'm quite pleased now. That's one thing working. I know this works. It's bizarre, like it's it's so robust and it's it's very like an American machine. American machines are more automatic now, but um they don't seem to have changed much in a long time. Well they are they are completely different. I'll give them some credit, but but they do look the same with the top loading function and the vertical agitator right wonderful service what was it called 209 yeah model 209 service model 209 tumble dryer thanks for watching see you later